So, I'm bisexual. <laughs> Guys, stop cheering, stop cheering, stop cheering. I do know that there's some people, some of my family and other people that I know in real life that probably do not know this about me yet. So, hello. I guess I'm coming out to you now. You, you either accept me or you don't. That's kind of how it is. Because actually, I have been out for like two years now, and I was never really hiding the fact that I was bisexual in um, any of my YouTube videos. I don't know. Context clues, just literally like look in the background or look in the foreground at my face in the way that I'm acting all the time. Uh, you could probably make some conclusions or whatever. I was told the other day though by someone that knows me pretty well that um, I don't act gay, and my heart has never been broken more. So I'm really trying to fix that on a daily basis because that felt almost like saying a slur to me. <laughs> but actually, okay, I came out two years ago. Well, oh, three years ago. So this is technically my third Pride Month, but I have like never celebrated Pride before or done anything ever. Mostly because I lived in a town that didn't really do anything for Pride and they also didn't have any gay people at all. Queer men have not dropped in small Alberta towns yet. Anyways, I wanted to make this video just to share this with the internet, officially, I guess. Also celebrate Pride, capitalize on those views, let's go. But actually, I really do want to just show a queer experience and show that people like me. But I, I wanna show people like me that they are not alone and that I'm here. Send any question you have in the comments. Send any hate you have in the comments too. I would love to hear it, please. I would love to hear hate, please. <laughs> Please hate on queer people more. I saw the meme the other day where it's um, homophobes and they realized Pride Month wouldn't exist without them and I, I actually literally never thought of that before. And I think that is the funniest fucking thing ever. I wanted to share a little bit about my journey to realizing I'm bisexual. Because also, the journey hasn't ended. I'm still never 100% certain of my sexuality and I don't think anyone ever is. And I think straight people who think they are are actually just pretending. In any, some sort of way, maybe not necessarily about the orientation overall, but in some kind of way, we've all been sexually confused in our lives at some point, okay? Uh, let's let's not beat around the fucking bush here, okay? Let's not beat around the literal bush here. <laughs> you know, it's especially with bisexuality, it's never 50-50. As much as you wish it was, it was never, it's never 50-50. And I'm still trying to figure out what those percentages are and what I like about either gender or like genders outside the binary. I'm like, am I into those? Like, there's so many things to discover. I think it all started back when I was like six years old, I think, watching the Disney Channel show Ant Farm. China Ann McLean. Okay, that was my female awakening, just in general. First male awakening was probably Tom Holland in Spider-Man Homecoming. 12 year old me, watching that in the theater. Altered. Something about that was altered. Tom Holland, Tom Holland. I know you're with Zendaya right now and she's hot too. So either or, either or, if you're interested, like I'm here, I'm putting this out here, like as a... <laughs> but actually seeing Tom Holland's Homecoming, like in Homecoming actually changed the trajectory of my life. And I go back and watch it and sometimes, sometimes I still get the magic back and I'm like, immediately after that, cause that was 2017, I didn't come out until 2021. So it still took me a hot minute to figure out what was going on at all. COVID motivated that as it, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I love COVID. COVID was so good for my life and everything and great. And I, it's insane the way that denial works. Cause like, I thought denial was like a joke. Like I thought people who were in denial about something were still kind of aware that they're in denial, but no, denial is insane. The way that your mind will just like look away from something that's right in your fucking face. Like the way that you will make excuses and draw logic and draw conclusions. And I'm not gonna pretend like I don't, I'm not de in denial or delusional about things now. Being in denial about your orientation is crazy. Like how, what, how, what was I not seeing? I do think one part of it is that I just grew up in such a small place and I wasn't really watching anything with like gay characters. Like I was not exposed to it in any sort of way at all. But that's in them like, there's always a part of me that like everyone else already always thought they knew because I just didn't fit in with any of these straight guys growing up at all, ever. It's insane now that I'm out, I fit in with straight men better, which doesn't make any fucking sense. I hate straight men with a passion, I'm kidding. It's a joke, it's a joke. I don't hate any sexuality ever. I think it was also, I was being fed this stereotype of what a gay person was, which, you know, I'm acting like I'm old, by the way. This was like early 2010s. Like this was not anything like back in my day. 
No, the, the gay stereotypes back then, um, not that this doesn't exist now, but it was the only thing I was exposed to back then was like very feminine, very flamboyant type of gay person. Kind of like a loser way. You know, when gay was like an insult. Well, it still is. It was kind of like the idea of being gay was about being feminine and flamboyant and confident. I think that was a big thing. And that was never something I identified with. Cause like the gay men always knew that they were gay and were outwardly gay on the very few ex like ways I was exposed to like gay or queer men in any kind of way. I did never thought of myself as being anywhere close to that stereotype. So I never even thought that the way I felt for men was considered gay. You know what I mean? Considered homosexual in any kind of way. I did not think about bisexuality often. I did think about bisexuality often, but then I always lean back towards straight because I'm like, no, no, no. Because I've had feelings. I've had, I've had crushes on women and men. Anytime I had a crush, I repressed it like crazy because I just couldn't accept like any feelings at all, even though it was like normal to like women or whatever. But I started getting hit with intense ass fucking crushes after I came out. And it was like, it, like it all caught up to me in one second. I was like, oh God, you accepted it. And now I'm crushing on literally everyone and everyone is hot and sexy because they are, everyone is. So no exposure to queer men as a child, right? But there's this one episode, once again, Disney Channel. Good Luck Charlie had this one episode in their last season. And I remember I watched it recently and it's actually, it holds up really well. And I think it's pretty fun representation. It's all about the family, you know, expecting, I think it was Charlie's friend was coming over and their parents. And so the parents are gonna hang out and the kids are gonna hang out. So we're all having a play date. Oh, honey, this one is actually going to be fun. I met the mom, Susan, she's really nice. Oh, I met her. Uh, I thought her name was Cheryl. The parents were preparing like Amy and, what's the dad's name? I was so close, Amy, Bob. Amy and Bob were, ex <laughs> I love that show. Go look Charlie, so good. Amy and Bob. We're expecting the couple to, you know, be like a straight couple to come over. Taylor has two moms. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, Bob. And so they're like, okay, Bob's like, okay, I'm gonna hang out downstairs with the guy and watch like a game on something and we'll vibe that way. And you come up and you have like coffee with the mom and whatever and talk about girl stuff. But then it ended up being a lesbian couple. And now they're like, oh shit, what do we do? It wasn't in any court sort of offensive way. It's just a funny way. Cause it was like, the parents were not expecting that. And they're like, oh, so which one goes to play? Which one goes to watch football? Like, what do we do? And it's insane the way that a child's mind is so vulnerable that the moment I saw that episode, oh, being a lesbian is like the most normal thing in my mind. And it instantly made me just like accept that as normal because the show portrayed it as so normal. If I had seen, a guy version of that done really, really well, I feel like at such a young age, it would have instantly clicked. It would have instantly been like, oh, it's not that bad. And imagine if I consistently saw that much representation as I do now. Anyways, that was a rant. Not to blame my upbringing or be like ungrateful because overall I've had a pretty, I've had many good parts of my childhood exist. Just being sheltered definitely affected the sexuality journey. That's all I'm really saying. I came out to everyone no one was really, no one was caught off guard. No one was surprised. Once again, kind of hurt my fucking feelings. Well, now I act straight, but before I was acting gay, what are you guys talking about? Now, like that experience, hey, terrible, depressed, anxious, hated myself passionately, have come out so positive because there's so many ways, like it's so motivating. It really is. Cause it's like, wow, that was sh so shitty. I wouldn't want that to happen to anyone else ever. It could be so much worse. It could be so much worse. The confusion and not being accepted, all that stuff. And I can't even imagine how it is for other people. So I want, it kind of, my queer experience has helped so much with things like all, all the creative things I do now, like my novel, I'm like writing a novel and it's like so, like I feel like it captures like the little intricacies of just my experience in a way that I don't see on TV, that I still don't see. With all the representation, while it is great, you know, I feel like there's more, there's way more to explore. And I don't think, I think we have a, we still have so much further to go and so much more to, to talk about. So I really wanna capture that in my novel. Even just making this YouTube channel and starting to show my face more online, is it not a coincidence that I'm pretty sure I started showing my face online? It was after I came out. It was after I became way more confident. I started liking myself more. I don't know, just being myself and filming myself talking has helped has come from me discovering that part of myself and being way more confident with myself. So yeah, another thing that it's helped me be motivated for was definitely 
just becoming a counselor and going into psychology because god it's so interesting learning about the intricacies of it of just my experience but also just the experience overall and it's like oh my god it's so fascinating like i always feel like it was something i was inclined and very interested in i would love to become a counselor i'd love to work with young people and help them through any kind of mental struggle but especially if i can help like queer youth feel accepted and safe and whatever, I would love to be able to do that for people. So um, that's what I hope to become with this whole university journey. I also want to get better at making content in general. Like I would love to like, I don't know. I, I know I need like degrees and whatever, but I would love to like make a film or write a, like I said, I'm writing a book. Like I just want to be creative and I want to have like, I want to just vividly capture my experiences just so that people don't feel alone. I want to, that's the kind of thing I want to share. So that kind of transfers to I think a lot of the takeaways from this video, I've been rambling a lot. I think there need to be more bisexual men out there, and I think there should be more men that are bisexual for me out there. I accept all kind, like in making this video, it's like fucking obvious, but I accept all sexualities, all genders, all that. I think everything's on a spectrum. I think people should be allowed to express themselves in any way they want, as long as it doesn't hurt other people. And I truly, truly believe that, and I try to like, use those values every day. I'd like to consider myself a much less judgy person than I was in the past. Still have stuff to work on though. <laughs> Internalize homo homophobia, no, 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 that doesn't exist. I hope by just uploading and making this video, because I know there's gonna be a bunch of fucking videos on the internet about being all about pride and whatever, and it's it, there's, there's billions and billions of hours of content to watch about this kind of stuff, but it's still nice to think that by just making this video and uploading it to the internet, I'm one small drop in my, in the bucket of progress or representation and experiences and all that kind of stuff. I also want to end off this video saying thank you to my friends and family that accept me and love me and it's very nice to find people that accept you and love you and I hope, I hope everyone finds those kinds of friends one day because I'm very fortunate to have them. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you stay till the end, I know I'm probably just non-stop talking but thank you so much for sticking with me in this channel and watching and we hit 250 fucking subscribers let's go also if you unsubscribe from this or you lose respect me for kind of this i really don't give a flying fuck okay you're already like i was already bisexual when you were watching so you're already liking me so just admit you kind of like bisexual people a little bit admit that you like the queer community a little bit so if you lose respect me because you found out just now maybe you should have been paying attention from the beginning so anyway thank you for watching